Hello everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and today guys we are going to make a Sailor Moon doll yes finally I want to make Sailor Moon already for a very 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 long time really since the very beginning of my channel and many of you really request this collection of dolls quite often so today is finally time to make the first of the dolls let's see if this video gets nice views if you want to see the other girls from the show from the Sailor Moon show I will make the rest of the girls but let's start with the Sailor Moon herself uh, my mom will help me today with the outfit I know many of you missed my mom creations and me myself I also really missed my mom's creations but now and probably the next video and one of the videos next month normally will be collaborations with my mom so my mom is back to the channel please subscribe to her Instagram, subscribe to my Instagram as well. Uh, but yeah, so today we're making Sailor Moon together with my mom. It's gonna be very exciting. So this being said, let's start working. Of course, I have to remind you also to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. I upload new doll makeovers every week Friday or every second week Friday, depends on the size of the project. Yeah, and of course, if you like the things that I'm doing here on my channel, please support it with your likes because it really helps me here on YouTube. So, yeah, this being said, let's start the transformation. I've decided to use this Draculaura Monster High doll for the project because I think she looks a little bit like an anime character with a tiny nose and with these big eyes. So, let's remove everything that this doll wears, let's cut off her hair, let's wipe her face off with pure acetone to get a clean canvas, and then we'll start the real transformation. Perfect, everything is gone and now we can start turning her into Sailor Moon, starting with her hair. 
she will have super long blonde hair I already prepared it here so I will first cover her head with a couple of layers of acrylic paint that is close in color to her future hair and then I will reroute her hair using my rerouting tool This is how it all looks after a couple of hours of rerouting. So now I will add some tacky glue inside of the head and I will let it dry for a couple of days. Actually, you know, it's so wet here in this house right now. The humidity is literally above 80%, so it will take quite a long time to dry, but there is nothing I can do about it. And then when the glue seems to be finally dry after I don't know four or five days probably I can seal her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and I can start drawing. And first I will cover her face with a layer of green pastels otherwise with her original pink skin tone I will end up with a very very warm skin in the end. And I want her to be pale uh, and not too warm you know like a very very pale girl so I start with cancelling this pink with green color and then I will continue working on her face as usually.
this time I've decided to draw her eyelashes. I don't know, I feel like her eyes are too pretty to get hidden under giant falsies. So I think she will look better with painted lashes. And then when her face looks finished, I blush her body using the same steps. First green, then light nude, light pink, all these things. Here it is guys, the drawing part of the project is finished and now we can finally move on to other things. And as I told you in the beginning, my mom has been responsible for my Sailor Moon's outfit and here you can see her footage recreating the iconic uniform. And here it is, it has arrived at my studio, check it out, look how cute this packaging is, adorable, really, but the outfit is even cuter than the packaging, check it out, guys, really, so, 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 so adorable, so detailed, and it looks just like the original, really, and this blue fabric is a natural silk, by the way, so it's even extra fancy and quality, really super cute, I'm sitting here happy like a little girl. My mom has made gloves as well, but I think I want to make them a little bit differently because the top of Sailor Moon's gloves is kind of more 3D and textured and her gloves also cover the fingers, so I think I want to make the gloves a little bit differently. I will make the top out of thermoplastic and then I will paint her arms and hands to create like an imitation of the gloves. And I will also make a red choker with the crescent moon at the same time while working on the gloves.
Good, this step is done and now let's make a pair of boots for her. Sailor Moon wears red boots with white accent on the top and with tiny moons attached to the front. I'm starting with making a pattern of the future boots using masking tape and then I will transfer all the details to the piece of thermoplastic. Now we'll warm all the details up with a hair dryer to make them soft and shapeable and I will make a pair of boots around the doll's legs. It's very important to keep quite a big hole on the back of tall boots made out of thermoplastic because it will become very hard, literally like regular plastic after it all cools down and then putting these boots on and off will turn into a real challenge but keeping a big opening on the back normally solves this problem. Now the basic boots are ready and I can paint them with acrylics and add golden crescent moons to the front. And these tiny moons are normally meant to be used in nail design, but you know everything for nail design is perfect for doll making.
here are the finished boots and the finished outfit in general. So, 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 so cute, adorable, cartoonish. The only thing that this outfit is still missing is the transformation brush that turns a regular schoolgirl into a legendary Sailor Moon. And I will make this brush out of thermoplastic. I will cover it with gold, decorate it with the moon, with rhinestones, and then I will glue it to the middle of the red bow on her outfit. Check it out guys, this teeny tiny brush looks absolutely adorable, I really love it, it's a really lovely finishing touch, I really love how this project goes so far, you know, everything is very satisfying. So now I think I want to give my doll a staff and let's make this one with the crescent moon. And for this I will need my thermoplastic again, of course, it's good for everything. <laughs> and I start with building it out of warbler and then I will paint it and cover it with gold and with rhinestones, kind of similar to what we've just done with the brush. Crescent Moon itself I want to cover with this glow-in-the-dark glitter to make it completely magical.
and check it out guys I think this is real magic I absolutely love it really beautiful piece of accessory so now I want to make another tiny detail for her and I'm talking about this tiny how to call it a diadem on her forehead this accessory on her forehead uh, I don't know what is the right name for it so and I will make it out of thermoplastic again Good, I will attach it to her forehead a little bit later and now let's finally work on her hair. I start with making two long ponytails and creating two tiny buns on top of them. Good, now let's cut and style the bangs and guys if you watched my other videos then you probably know how much I hate styling doll bangs but you know a ton of styling products will help me with this business I think a lot of styling gel, a lot of hairspray, it must hold. And I think it looks so cute, this time I'm absolutely happy with the bangs, you know, I always feel very stressed out because of it, but this time it looks very cute.
So now I'm decorating the two buns with these bigger rhinestones, or what is the right name for these bigger crystals surrounded by smaller crystals. But I think it will be good for my Sailor Moon's hairstyle. I let her curls set for a while with these clips, as I told you the humidity is very high here in the house right now, so this hair gel will take hours or even days to dry down completely. And while all this thing is setting and drying, I can attach the decoration to her hat, the thing that I made earlier, attach the earrings, add gloss to her eyes and lips, so add all these finishing touches. And guys, here is my finished Sailor Moon doll and you cannot even imagine how much fun I had working on this doll. I don't even know why, probably because I was recreating kind of favorite character from my early teen years. I'm really happy to recreate it in my style, but also featuring her original outfit and accessories. So I think she looks absolutely amazing in the end, really so cute, so cartoonish, very beautiful, really. My mom's outfit is a piece of art as usual. She's really good at it, I don't know, please don't forget to subscribe to her Instagram, she posts new doll outfits every Friday there on Instagram, also subscribe to my Instagram as well, and I think my mom and her work deserves a like here on YouTube today as well. So this doll will be for sale for 10 days this time on eBay, I've decided to try to do it a little bit different this time, otherwise you know I regularly get messages from people who watch a new video for example, I don't know, five days after it went live on YouTube, asking if the doll is still available. And the doll is not available anymore because I normally keep them for three days available on eBay. So I've decided to experiment a little bit this time and to keep this eBay listing, this auction open for a little bit longer, to give an opportunity to a bigger audience to buy a doll they liked. So let's try it for once and then make a conclusion which way is better. Maybe 10 days is too long, maybe three days is too short. So let's experiment a little bit. So that was a little kind of technical moment and now let's get back to my Sailor Moon doll, let's discuss her in the comments and please guys let me know if I need to make the rest of the girls. So guys, and that was it. That was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you in my new video very soon, next week or in two weeks. I don't know yet, working on two or three different dolls at the time. So I will see how quickly I finish them. So have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye!